Welcome back in. It's a treasure to have him here. Greg Warren at the Improv at the Waterfront. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me in. Greg, I've I know... I've never been a treasure before. <laughs> <laughs> you now are officially. This, this is something I know uh, close to your heart. My wife and I are discussing now. Our dryer is on the fritz. Wow. Our dryer, wow. It, it sometimes dries and sometimes just decides if you walk away, it shuts Big off. Big argument with my parents. Time to get a new dryer, I know. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, that's, the, that's the argument that goes on. I think, I think they're... Um, I think they're going to start taking out those political attack ads against each other. <laughs> <laughs> For the dryer. Yeah, yeah I think uh, Colleen Warren wants a new dryer. We don't need a new dryer. <laughs> Colleen Warren wants to waste our money. Money that could be spent on a new security system for this home. Colleen Warren wants terrorists to invade our home. This ad was paid for by me because I'm the one with the damn job in this house. <laughs> Jerry Warren says the dryer isn't broken. Just like he said the air conditioner wasn't broken, the car wasn't broken, and our son Greg's arm wasn't broken. <laughs> Haven't we had enough of Jerry Warren? This ad was paid for by Jerry Warren, and he doesn't even know it. <laughs> Every, everything in their house is broken, right? We play chess. There's six pieces missing from our chess set. So, so we replace them with pieces from my mom's nativity scene. We're, we're, we're playing chess with the Virgin Mary and goats and wise men. And, and my uncle, Cheech, you know, it's like Uncle Earl. That's a pawn. You're not supposed to move his, him backwards. That's the son of God, boy. You can move him whatever the hell he wants to go. <laughs> you show a little respect at his birthday. Jesus takes the queen on his birthday. That fella can walk on water. He can dang well move backwards. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> He's he's a he's a uh, moron, my uncle. He, uh, I, t I took him to eat. We go to the restaurant, uh, get the menu. Yeah. You, you know, when you get a menu at the top of every page. There's a heading that tells you what's on that page. Sure. He, he orders the heading. Right? <laughs> I'll have the steak and pork. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you, you can't order that. Why not? Well, it's the heading. I don't care what it is. It says steak and pork. That's what I want. Give me the steak and pork. What, what do you want to drink? Assorted beverages. <laughs> yeah, he, he, uh, I, I, uh, I eat by myself at restaurants, which is uh, Small pretty wonder. sad. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, is, okay. Isn't that awkward, those eating by yourself? It is. It's very like, awkward. One, they discriminate against you. I mean, like, they, do. they put you with these tables. They're so small. It, it limits what you can order. It's like, uh, yeah, uh, well, I, I want the fajitas. But, but they're not going to fit. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, just give me the Tower of Onion Rings. We'll, we'll build up like Manhattan. Um, I eat at the same restaurant every Monday and Tuesday for breakfast. Yeah, every, like clockwork. They know my order. Oh, that's nice. Which, no, it's pathetic. It? I'm, I'm too young to be that guy. That is your you know, you know that, like the yeah. old guy that goes yeah. to the same place every day for 50 years? Yeah, you're yeah. mad if someone's in your seat. Yeah, knows, exactly. Yeah. Knows way too much about the place. You know, the bacon's good on Thursday. <laughs> he knows more about the place than the people that work there. I'll have the broccoli and cheese omelet. Uh, sir, we, we don't have broccoli. Oh, yes, you do. It's in the walk-in cooler right next to the mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't uh, I don't know. I, I, when I go to a restaurant, I, I just want to eat. Because like, sure. I, like, I eat at restaurants every meal. I'm on the yeah. road. Like, I, don't, I don't cook. So it's business. Like, I just want to eat. I don't want to talk to the waiter. Do you find yourself eating the same thing all the time? Mostly, anyway? yeah. Like, yeah, I eat a lot is, of chains. Is it just too exhausting to try to come up with something else to eat? Yeah, I, like, I, I just, it's not that exhausting. It's just, like, I don't want to have a bad meal, so you eat what you ah. trust. You know? But they, like, they always want to talk to you. Like, so, have you ever eaten here before? <laughs> no, but I bet I can figure it out. Like, <laughs> let me guess, the thing in your hand is a menu. I, I point to an item, you make it, and I eat it. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe here every 15 minutes, an orangutan drives a riding mower full of food through the restaurant, and i got to throw a ping pong ball at the item that I want, but if that's the case, I don't want to eat here in the first place. You know? uh, uh, and have, you, have you ever uh, tried to switch tables at a restaurant? Uh, oh, you're that guy, huh? Uh, I'm, yes, I am, okay? And it's my right. I'm paying to be there. If the place is not full, and, and man, the waitresses, oh, God. Like, it confuses everyone. Oh, though. they get so upset about it. Like, hey, Megan, the sun is right in my eyes. Can I, can I move to that table right there? Mm, that's Jennifer's section. Okay, Megan, well, how about if you wait on me 
in Jennifer's section. Oh. That'll, that'll, no, that's impossible. Impossible? Really, Megan? Like, we're not talking about North Vietnam and South Vietnam here. We're talking about areas of a Ruby Tuesday that are separated by a line that an 18-year-old made with a magic marker on a dry erase board. Like, like, I think we can cross the line. They're so, those hostesses are so territorial and they take their job so seriously, right? I, I eat at 2 in the afternoon half the time. There's nobody in the restaurant. You know, I'll walk up there, party one, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> she looks down at that schematic for like 15 minutes. Like, Look, MacArthur, it's not a battlefield. Yeah. <laughs> like, nah, I, I, um. <laughs> Craig Ward is tonight at 8 at the Improv and right through the weekend. And just maybe take him out to dinner. How's that? Yeah. So he doesn't have to eat go. by himself. Always a pleasure, man. Good hey, to man, have you through. Thanks for having me back.